हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अडर इन बोवाइंस सो इन दैट एम्ब्रियोनिक एंड फिटल डेवलपमेंट वी विल सी द मेमरी ग्लैंड ओरिजिनेट्स फ्रॉम द एक्टोडम द फर्स्ट इन इनडिस्क्रीनिबल दैट इज विजिबल साइन ऑफ द मेमरी ग्लैंड इज द मेमरी बैंड इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ सिंगल लेयर ऑफ सेल्स ऑन द वेंट्रल सर्फेस ऑफ द एम्ब्रियो जस्ट back of the umbilicus the mammary band differentiates into two narrow band of the cell and that is called as the mammary line at intervals on the mammary line further proliferation results in the formation of mammary buds means that mammary line converts into the mammary buds and the number of which determines the number of glands which will develop then we will see the development of mammary gland from birth to puberty in the holstein cow between birth and 2 months of age there is little growth of the udder but between 2 months and the time of puberty what is the time of puberty that is 7 to 8 months the mammary gland grows 3 and 1/2 times faster than the body weight and reaches the peak pubertal development at 10 to 12 months of age it is the peak pubertal development and the mammary gland does not grow much after this period until the animal becomes pregnant then we will discuss about the development of mammary gland during the estrus cycle after the attainment of puberty puberty means the first estrus accompanied by ovulation the animal undergoes recurrent estrus cycle the mammary gland undergoes cyclic changes during the course of the estrus cycle the duct system growing during the estrogenic phase and regressing during the progestinal phase so the cumulative growth of the mammary gland occurs for the first 4 to 5 cycles thereafter this is not much net gain with each recurrent estrus cycle and then we will discuss the development of mammary gland during pregnancy the largest portion of the mammary growth occurs during the pregnancy during the first 3 months of pregnancy only the duct system proliferates means duct systems get proliferate it is grows it is multiply okay from the third month on there is rapid growth of the secretory tissue means the lobulo alveolar system which continues even after calf is born the secretion of colostrum begins a short time before the birth of the calf and results in a great enlargement of the udder at this time okay secretion of colostrum means it is the first milk and it begins a short time before the birth and results in a great enlargement of the udder at this time then we will discuss about the development of mammary gland during the lactation so there is a uh, no direct studies in the cow are available but based on the studies in the laboratory animals it seems that considerable growth of the secretory tissue in the mammary gland takes place during the early part of the lactation then we will discuss about the anatomy of the cow udder the cow udder is located in the inguinal area and it consists of four separate glands that is quarters each gland has one teat with one opening rear quarters account for 55 to 60% of total udder weight and produce 55 to 60% of the milk 
then here we will see the picture here you can see the pelvis of the cow and this one is the connective tissue which attaches udder to the abdominal wall and this one is the lateral suspensory ligament this is also a lateral suspensory ligament and this one we called it as a median suspensory ligament here you can see this is the median suspensory ligament okay and this is the right quarter of the udder this is rear quarter of the udder this is the left quarter of the udder and this is the front quarter of the udder and the fine connecting membrane that separates front and rear quarters that is the fine connecting membrane we can see which connects the rear and front quarter then we will discuss about the suspensory system support system it is a support system median and lateral suspensory ligament right and left halves are separated by intermammary groove here in this picture we can see this is a median suspensory ligament this is a lateral suspensory ligament and these are the lam laminar plates and this is the parenchymal tissue and this one is the intermammary groove this is the gland system it is a tit system this is the annular fold and this one is the skin and in this picture we can see the external and internal structure of the udder in that you can see the lobes here we can see the lobes and in that lobes the lobules are there the small small sections and in that lobules the alveoli are present and this one is the connective tissue and this one is the major duct and these are the ducts and this one is the gland system it is the tit system and this, this is the tit meatus then we will see the internal structure of the mammary gland this is the connective tissue these are the ducts this is the udder system this is the tit system and this is the glandular secretory tissue and these are the blood vessels we can see here and this one is the muscles these are the epithelial cells and this is the structure of single alveolus and this is the tit duct and this is the duct gland system and this one is the glandular tissue here also you can see this one is the single alveolus this one is the structure of single alveolus and this one is the 
सिंगल लोब इन दैट लोब मेनी लोब्यूल्स आर देयर स्मॉल स्मॉल लोब्यूल्स आर देयर एंड इन दैट लोब्यूल्स अल्वियोला आर देयर एंड फ्रॉम दैट सिंगल अल्वियोलस इज टेकन एंड दिस इन दिस सिंगल अल्वियोलस देर इज मिल्क प्रोड्यूसिंग सेल्स ब्लड कैपिलर कैपिलरीज बेसल मेम्रेन एंड माओपिथेलियल सेल्स this is the milk duct milk cistern frustin burg ring teeth cisterns and here you can see the frustin burg rose rosettes in this picture the muscles of the frustin burg and the teeth canal so here we will stop the today's lecture the next portion of the le this lecture we will start in the next le next next lecture thank you very much